Hello, welcome to this UFT video. In this video, you will learn uh, different uh, components, Windows dialogs in the UFT user interface. So here I have opened the UFT and on the top you will see these uh, menus, file, edit, view, search, design, record, run resources, ALM tools, window and help. So I'm going to explain to you uh, each of these menu as well as uh, these pins, output pane, active screen pane, data, and then error span and also the solution explorer and properties pane as well as well as uh, this toolbar buttons as well so when you create a new test uh, in UFT on the left hand side you will uh, have this name of the test and then in that test you can have multiple actions one or more actions so to create a new test you can uh, go here and then click on new test so if you can, you can also create the function library as well as a business components application area as well using this uh, new menu option and then uh, you can also create a new test by clicking on this button then you can also open the existing test or the solution or function library using this menu then you can add new test uh, then add existing test or the business component using this option then you're going to close the solution or the test using these options then you can save this test as well and you can save the test with resources uh, so when you save this it doesn't save the resources but if you want to save the resources as well you can use this option and then uh, all the resources are, are also saved like associated repositories and then uh, associated uh, library files as well or the recovery scenario files are also saved using this option then in the recent you can see the recent tests of this uh, UFT window then uh, in the settings you can view the settings of your list and then export you can export the list and import uh, test you can import the test so I'll briefly give you the explanation of the settings dialog so if you open settings you will find that these are uh, there are sections like properties run and then properties briefly I will explain in the properties section uh, gives the description of the test and then also shows associated add-ins in the run, you can specify how the uh, test should run, uh, the, how the data should be used in the data table, and what should happen when the error occurs. And it is also mentioning the object synchronization timer as well. Then the resources we have the we can add or remove the resources by clicking on this button. And we can also specify the data table. Uh, the data table by default it, uh, gets the data table from the default directory. Uh, that is the main uh, test directory so you can uh, if you want you can specify the location as well in the environment you can specify the built-in and user defined uh, variables so built-in are uh, the variables that are that cannot be edited these are read only variables and you can view the values of those variables by just clicking on those and then over here it will display the value similarly we have got the java uh, settings where it shows the java related things like uh, and running the Java dot set steps what to do. Similarly, we have mobile hybrid uh, settings, web settings like browser navigation timeout recovery. Here you can add the recovery scenarios, then log tracking and local system monitor. So in the log tracking, you can uh, like connect our UFT uh, to uh, work with the log uh, configuration or the log system of the application. And then in the local system monitor, we can monitor the uh, application locally so this is briefly about the settings and then uh, we can import and export the tests using these options maybe it will save it in the zip file in the edit uh, this is normal operations uh, like you can find it in a, any windows application like cut copy paste and here they have added this code snippet section where you can just click on that and then that particular section uh, will be added for example if you want to add the for loop you can just go, to, go here and then in the code flip and you can use, select this one for and then that particular code is automatically generated and in the format you can comment or uncomment so these are the specific uh, shortcuts for that to make the comment you can control press control m and uncomment control shift m then similarly we have the uh, shortcuts for the indenting or the outdating uh, outdating the uh, text in the file then in the view we have uh, solution explorer toolbox so these are the different windows that you can see like solution explorer is over here where it shows all the actions and the test 
that are open there in the toolbox uh, it shows the various associated uh, fu function libraries library fu uh, local uh, functions library functions it also shows the test objects as well so that is in this toolbox then properties uh, it shows the action name location etc that information is shown then data it shows the data table like global and action these data sheets are there by default then in the output uh, this output is shown uh, so it actually sh uh, shows the log of the print statement so if you use the print statement or the command in your test then that particular output will be shown in here then in the errors it shows the errors and active screen it shows the active screen so in the errors if some errors occur during your uh, run those errors will be displayed over here and in the active screen it shows the active screen of the application so here it shows the snapshot of the particular step for example let us say you have got this uh, notepad application automation and then uh, you can uh, like you choose the active screen uh, of that particular application so if you are automating the notepad it will give the screenshot of the notepad over here so you can just uh, take your cursor to the particular statement and uh, it tries to display the objects that corresponds to that particular statement over here the snapshot of that particular object then let us move on you can view the last run results by going over here and then you can open the keyword view over here you can uh, run the step results and you can also add the breakpoints uh, the watch variables uh, etc from this debug window then find replace these are the normal operations that you can perform then you can add the things to the bookmarks and you can also go to particular location then from uh, in the design menu you can have uh, create a call to new action or call to copy of action you can call to existing action so you can add those actions and then those particular uh, statements will be automatically generated and then put into your current cursor location here you can add the uh, checkpoints and uh, here you can see the existing output values so if you click on existing checkpoint it displays the existing checkpoints if they are available in your test in the start transaction and transaction it allows you to uh, create the transactions in, uh, in your test and the check syntax is uh, useful to check the syntax of particular file so it uh, gives the errors if there are any uh, syntax syntax errors syntactical errors in that particular file and step generator allows you to generate the steps function definition generator allows you to generate the function definitions for example if you click on that option it will allow you to uh, tell you to write the name of the function and then here you can give the description and that particular function will be automatically created for you and from here you can record and run the uh, tests uh, so if you want to record say notepad you can start the recording by clicking on this button or you can also click on this particular button and then start the recording and here you can select record and run test on any open windows based application so if you want to uh, automate a specific application you can click on this radio button and then start ok click on ok and then uh, you can start the application perform some operation from that and then let's close that particular application and then you can stop that particular recording and as we were recording these steps are automatically created for that and as you can see the active screen it is showing the statements the snapshot of that application so if I click on this one it is showing the editor if I click on this one is showing the uh, like oh, the app object on which the click is happening and here it will show the don't save button so that is how you can uh, like record that particular uh, application and then those code that code is automatically generated for you which is useful uh, to automate certain parts of your application and to run the test you can uh, use this run option or you can also press this f5 key 
then you can view the uh, reports of your tasty exhibition as well and over here there are some options to add the breakpoints remove the breakpoints and never disable the breakpoints or you can also run from the current step or the run from specific step as well in the program then in the resources we have got the object repository object repository manager and then recovery scenario manager so in the object repository it will show the local object repository and then in the object repository manager you can uh, like uh, manage the shared repositories in the associated repositories you can attach the new repository as well to your tastes and the recovery scenario manager allows you to add remote recovery scenarios or manage the recovery scenario files as well then in the lm you can uh, connect to the quality center or the lm and save your tests in the lm directly from this particular eft interface in the tools we have object spy dot net windows form spy this is this particular useful uh, spy option is useful to spy on the dot net windows forms and then object identification uh, it gives the description like how we can uh, how the uft identifies the objects for different platforms they have given the different objects and then mandatory properties and assistive properties for each object so this will be used when uh, uft tries to identify that particular object and the tools we have a regular expression evaluator which allows you to check the regular expressions that you have created and data driver in the options there are some important settings for example in the run session so in the run sessions we have got the report format and uh, you can check this or uncheck this uh, checkbox if you want to uh, view the results when the run session ends you can check this checkbox otherwise you do, if you don't want to view the results you can uncheck that checkbox and another important uh, setting is in GUI testing if you click on this tab in the folders here you can give this folders where uh, your resources are available like recovery scenario files object repository files so you can give the directory in which those files are there and then UFT will search in those directories for the resources if it doesn't find the uh, resources in this particular directories it will throw the error so these are some of the important settings in these dialogues and in the window this is normal menu options and this is the help menus so this is all about uh, EFT GUI menus and introduction to the all important tools so here we have got a new open add buttons save call center connection then remote connection virtualized service settings here record and run then here this is the tool button to manage the actions and over here we have got the keyword view editor view and here we have the solution explorer here we have got the toolbox and over here there is the properties and here is the data so it shows the data table and we have got the debug pins like watch expressions then breakpoints can view this is the mobile center here you can connect to the mobile center and then test the android ios apps from the uft and this is object spy this is object repository and this is the last run results so this is the introduction to the gui of the uft if you like this video you can uh, hit the like button thanks for watching this video hi friends if you find this video useful please hit like button and for more videos please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softforce.org for more tutorials and updated videos thanks for watching my video